Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to be making this little magical thing. This is a GoPro mount that allows me to mount a GoPro into a standard um, you know, magnetic indicator arm mount. I um, started out using one of these things I got in some kind of kit off of Amazon. It's a little suction cup mount base thing for GoPros and it's terrible. It's absolutely terrible. You stick it to a perfectly flat surface and after five minutes it just kind of falls off. And a GoPro falling off, you know, a mount inside your mill while you're machining something is really not what you want to have happen. Um, so I made this thing instead so that I can use all my magnetic base indicator mount things. So this just slides down into there, gives me the mount for the GoPro, and really simple to make. This is going to be a very short video, very simple, and um, let's see how I made it. I started by measuring the little piece that I was going to be modifying. I just used my calipers to get kind of a rough idea of the dimension so that when I went to drill the hole for it later, I'd know, you know roughly where the center was. I also wrapped the outside in tape just to make sure I didn't you know, damage it too much from clamping it in the vise. I realized that using the mill for this was probably a little bit overkill. I probably could have just snapped off these little pieces and then sanded it down, but hey. I've got a CNC mill, might as well go ahead and use it. So I just used a half inch end mill to just kind of cut this down and made a nice flat surface. And um, then I just kind of switched it over to a drill bit and drilled uh, about 3 8 inch down in there. I think I used a 5 30 second um, drill bit, relatively small hole. There's kind of some ribs and stuff like that that I wanted to avoid. I just needed to get it you know, roughly dead center in there just enough to where the rod could um, have something to grab onto. Now it's time to move over to the lathe. Thankfully I had some rod stock on hand that fit perfectly into the little hole on the magnetic indicator holder thing. So I just took some of that, chucked it up into the lathe, and then faced it off. And then I just made this kind of little nub on the end that um, would then slide into the GoPro mount. And um, since I was using that 5 32nd inch hole, I just um, you know, set my calipers to that and just um, slowly kind of shaved it down until I had that. And the whole thing was about 3 8 inches deep. So I just you know, went in that far. So that was all very, very simple. And um, once that done, it was um, time to cut it off in the bandsaw. I didn't really know exactly how long I wanted this to be, so I just kind of measured you know, a little bit and just kind of gave a rough estimate of how long I thought it should be and I just put some tape around it and cut it off to be that length. I might end up um, redoing this whole thing over if I need it longer, if I need it shorter, but uh, you know, I just kind of guessed for right now. I then move this piece back to the lathe and just use a simple facing cut just to clean up that um, ugly cut from the bandsaw. All I had left to do was assemble everything. Thankfully, everything was a really nice press fit, so I just used a little bit of super glue inside the plastic piece and then just kind of um, tapped in the metal piece into that. So it was a really nice snug fit, and the glue is going to keep it from moving inside of there. And then it's just um, ready to test out. Here I've got the magnetic arm already attached to the side of the head. I don't have to worry about any kind of clearance issue because the head really only goes up yeah, another six inches or so. so. This won't hit the top of the enclosure. So here is the piece that I just made, and it just slides into this hole just like that. And then just lock it down in place. And then here is my GoPro, and I just have to you know, kind of work that in there and then attach it like that. And this makes a really, really nice adjustable mount for the camera. I can adjust this pretty much any which way I want just by a couple of knobs. And when I'm done and I need to go inside and do some um, editing, just take this right out. And then when I come back out, I can put it right back in, no problem. This is a very useful little project that allows me to film pretty much anywhere inside the enclosure for the Tormach. Uh, with the magnetic mount, it allows me to mount that GoPro pretty much anywhere. I can mount it on the head, I can mount it to the inside of the enclosure, I can even mount it right on the table because it's magnetic and everything inside of there is metal. So hopefully this will give me a little bit better um, options for filming um, some cutting in the upcoming videos. Apologize I haven't been doing more cutting with the mill, but I've just been really busy and haven't had a chance to get out here and do as much as I wanted to. Um, but in the upcoming videos, I will be doing more projects, um, doing some more cutting. I have a bunch of stuff planned, so stay tuned and see you then.